lots of sunscreen, lots of fluids in your body, and uh, just just an open mind. A classic staple of South Okanagan summertime fun is back as residents and tourists get ready to float down the Penticton Channel. You know, the channel is a safe place to enjoy a float. Um, it's important to realize though, because the channel uh, doesn't look like a, uh, like a rapid river, it's still flowing significant amounts of water. And it's moving at a very high rate of speed right now because it is very deep, uh, because the Okanagan Lake is unloading all that fresh out water that has come in uh, just recently. Some important safety reminders include wearing life preservers, applying sunscreen, keeping hydrated, and not tying your tubes together. The currents and the, the movement of the water is very fast, so things come up very quickly. So you may see the bridge is a long ways away, uh, but next thing you know, you're caught up in one of the abutments because you weren't, your situational awareness wasn't where it should be. So, you know, have, a, have a, a good understanding of where you are in the channel and pay attention to the signs uh, and the other safety messaging as you go through. While the water and speed looks a lot different than last year's slow and low pace, it's still safe to take yourself down the river. Yeah, it definitely is a wonderful time to cruise down. I don't think that that should be uh, something to stop anybody coming down, you know? It's always been something that like you can do in the afternoon. I don't think it should matter how long it takes to go down the channel as long as it's nice and relaxing. Both the fire department and Coyote Cruises have teams ready to go if help is needed. Uh, the Penticton Fire Department has a robust uh, water uh, water rescue program uh, that, that also can, uh, involves the river channel. Uh, so if you do witness or are part of an emergency situation where somebody is in trouble on the water, dial 911 and ask for the marine rescue uh, from Penticton Fire or just ask for help wherever your location is. And then the staff members at the bottom are very equipped in order to uh, you know, pull people out of the river if they can't quite make it over to the side. And we got little ropes at the end of the channel to help them out with that. Around 120,000 people go down the channel each summer. For Castnet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.